If you're expecting this spinoff to be a lighter, softer departure from the original series, then think again. The family business New Orleans is every bit as cold-hearted and ruthless as a family business. And it's okay because I thought that too, but in no way did I ever think that it would be all bubblegum and cotton candy by any means either. But the family business has always been known for its viewers to have this guilty pleasure for enjoying criminal entertainment. And the upcoming spinoff it takes all of that and it infuses it with jazz, the nightlife, a little bit of voodoo, and a whole lot of sexy, okay? The spinoff stars Brandon T. Jackson, Layla Rashawn, and a host of our other favorites. And they take us to the other side of the Duncan clan through their family business called Midnight Blues, an underground casino and club that's been a cornerstone of the city for over like a century. But don't be fooled by the smooth jazz and inviting atmosphere because beneath the surface, the stakes are just as high as the family business and the storylines are just as deadly too. Now the setting might be new, but the tone remains consistent with the cutthroat world that we've come to expect from the Duncan family saga. And what's particularly intriguing about this spinoff, guys, is how it mirrors the original show's duality. We've discovered that the Duncan family, the original Duncans, they juggle a respectable public image along with their secret, more dangerous image too, right? And Midnight Blues presents a facade of fun and entertainment. Yet it's clear that beneath the glitz and the glamour, there's this more darker, treacherous side to this establishment. I mean, they're in New Orleans for Pete's sake. And how do I know this? Well, if this casino was only a haven for jazz enthusiasts, gamblers, and tourists, then why does Marquise have to walk around with Jimmy by his side? Yeah, this is Jimmy. <laughs> and with this revelation alone, I'm sure that Midnight Blues is a place where loyalty is tested and betrayal lurks around every corner, just like the original show. If their last name is Duncan, we already know that the show will have all the nuances that define the criminal underworld of New Orleans. From what we've read so far, or from what you may have seen here on the channel, is that the drama will be intense and the consequences will be severe only because Jean LeBlanc played by David Banner, he'll be seeking revenge and answers as to how his brother got killed up in the blues. And based on what we've seen so far, Orlando is entrusting Marquise to look after, guard, protect his prized Ruby and their son, little Vincent, aka little O. He told Ruby that Marquise is the only one that he can trust, so he dropped her off there. Ruby convinced him to take little O with him because of his medical condition, so Ruby's gonna be there all alone with Marquise. Now, this has to be the quote unquote favor that Orlando and Vegas will repay to Marquise when he is in dire straits when Jean LeBlanc comes to take over the casino. And when I say take over the casino, I mean take over. Because according to the article that I read, he wants retaliation, revenge, money, explanations, and he wants their business. So he wants to take over, right? He's a new underworld boss, so I'm sure that he wants to acquire as much money, power, and wealth as quickly as possible. And this just isn't a spinoff, guys. I, I know it's not. I can feel it in my spirit. <laughs> this is definitely a continuation of the ruthless, all-or-nothing storytelling that made the family business such a hit. So if you're a fan of the original series, you'll find the same influential power, loyalty, and survival in this one, this New Orleans setting at Midnight Blues. And we can't leave about the voodoo and this can get very very interesting right i know that if i were just visiting new orleans i'd have an extra set of clothes head wraps healing oil protection spells handy and all the things right <laughs> But I can just imagine all the dark magic to control and manipulate people that'll be going on and the plight to just, I don't know, also protect themselves from supernatural forces because that's all it is, right? It's spiritual. The atmosphere in New Orleans is pretty eerie itself. So it'll be interesting to see how the Duncans maintain their power as David Banner seeks revenge. Well, Jean LeBlanc. <laughs> seeks revenge. So prepare yourselves, good people, for a journey that's as dark and dangerous as ever, where the only certainty is that nothing is as it seems and no one is safe. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop caping for this show. I'm such a geek, especially when it comes to good writing, acting, filming, just storytelling overall. I just love it. So thank you so much for tuning in today to listen to my two cents on Carl Weber's The Family Business, New Orleans. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know I'd appreciate it. 
And if you're a fan of the family business, then go ahead and sub to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys, and I'm going to see you on the next one.